In complex numbers, we have many questions from geometry. We have different formulas and uh, concepts to understand uh, these applications. The most important formulas from all this is uh, concept of rotation or rotation formula. Now let's see what is rotation formula in complex numbers. For that, consider points uh, A, Z1, B, Z2 and C, Z3 in argon plane. Let's plot these points in the argon plane. Here is our argon plane and these are points A, B, C. The angle A, C, B is theta. Now, let's translate A, C and B, C to origin with points C shifting to origin. Translation ka matlab kya hota hai? What do you mean by translation? Shifting of uh, an element without its rotation. Now we are taking point C to origin. So we have AC length translated like this with C at origin and point A shifted to point B. Angle OP is alpha. The angle of OP with X axis or real axis is alpha. Similarly, let's translate length BC. We are not rotating, we are just shifting. The length remains same. Point B now shifted to point Q. Okay. Angle, angle of OQ with real axis is beta and angle POQ is theta, same. Okay. Now, what is OP length? In fact, now we are interested in finding complex number of point P and Q. For that, we have uh, angle uh, P O X is alpha. This means P complex number ka, P point pe jo complex number hoga, uska argument kya ho jayega? Alpha. Now, what is length OP? That is equal to AC. And AC length is distance between these two complex numbers. Complex numbers ke which ka distance kya hoga? Modulus of Z2 minus Z1. To OP distance bhi ho jayega Z2 minus Z1. Now, O is origin. So, what is complex number of point P? Point P is given by Z2 minus Z1. And in Euler form, what is that? Modulus of Z2 minus Z1 e power iota alpha where alpha is argument of this complex number. Diagram se bilkul clear hai. Similarly, to find complex number of point Q, what we have for that? We have argument beta. Now what is length OQ? Length OQ is equal to BC. What is BC? Distance between Z3 and Z1. Modulus of Z3 minus Z1. That means, what is complex number associated with point Q? That is Z3 minus Z1. And by Euler form, it is modulus of Z3 minus Z1 e power iota beta, where beta is argument it is clear from the diagram. Now, let's divide these two complex numbers. In fact, Q point K complex number ko hum P point K complex number se divide karte hai. So, we have this result. We have Z3 minus Z1 upon Z2 minus Z1 is equal to ratio of their modulus e power iota beta upon e power iota alpha. Let's simplify this. e power iota beta upon e power iota alpha will be e power iota beta minus alpha. And from the diagram, what is beta minus alpha? That is theta. So we have this formula. Okay, now uh, take z2 minus z1 on RHS. So we have Z3 minus Z1 is equal to Z2 minus Z1 multiplied by ratio of modulus e power iota theta. Take Z1 on RHS. So we have formula for 
complex number z3 for this complex number which is represented by point b this formula is called rotation formula now what is geometrical interpretation of this formula ye formula humne derive kar liya par question mein use karne ke liye hame ye pata hona chahiye ki geometrically iska significance kya hai so we have okay for that we can consider this way z2 is rotated about z1 by an angle theta in anti clockwise direction हमने ए सी लेंथ को एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन में रोटेट किया किसके अबाउट Z1 के अबाउट बाय एन एंगल थीटा सो वी हैव अ न्यू रे सी बी आफ्टर दैट रोटेशन वी आर ऑल्टरिंग इट्स लेंथ बाय स्ट्रेचिंग और कंप्रेसिंग हम रोटेट कर रहे हैं उसके बाद उस रे को हम या कंप्रेस कर रहे हैं या स्ट्रेच कर रहे हैं Doing so, we have final position of A is B. A point B point पे आ गया after rotation and alteration of length. This formula, rotation formula gives complex number of this new position of A. जब हम इसके क्वेश्चन करेंगे तो हमें और समझ में आएगा कि ये formula की greatness क्या है 